What is going on, guys? This is Boy Chicken Wings back bringing a brand new video today. I'm doing a setup tour. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just felt like doing one. Why not? So, and I got better stuff now. So I actually am proud of showing my setup and what I've mostly bought myself. A couple things. Got two things for Christmas. This case and this <coughs> desk. But basically everything else I bought except for that TV and that monitor but everything else here I bought with my hard-working money even though I am 14 so I really you know can't uh, like I don't have a job yet I just like you know make money by mowing my grandma's grass and stuff like that but yeah so basically my setup is in my basement this is probably what you want to know yeah over that way is the door but I'm not gonna show because there's clothes on the drying rack and yeah it's just because my washer and dryer is down here so Let's get into the setup. Um, I got the Razor Kraken. No, no, that's the Razor, the Razor Kraken USB headset. I don't really like them. They kind of broke on me, so I'm duct taping them. Out. Duct taping them until I get a new one. Uh, my iPhone 5 S here in a life proof case. I mean, yeah. Um, long extended Corsair mouse pad it's the MM300 mouse pad yes it is and then right here I got the Razer Death Adder uh, Chroma Edition right there yeah so yeah that's everything here I got my PC right here which is probably not good in with my iPod recording but um yeah I got the Hue Plus which is our, those lights around the case is the Corsair 400C, or Carbine 400C, something like that. I'll probably have PC specs in the description, maybe. Um, RX 480. I got a 970A Gaming Pro Carbine uh, MSI uh, motherboard. And AMD, here, I can show it up here with the cam software. Where's my mouse? So if you go into build, the processor is AMD FX8 3000, or 8, 8, yeah, you know, right there, 8 3000, uh, video card, RX 480, uh, motherboard, MSI 970A Gaming Pro Carbine, I think it's what it's called, uh, Patriot memory RAM 16 gigabyte 20X 8GB, uh, I have two hard drive, I took one from my old computer, they're both one terabyte, so I have two. I don't know why there's a third one here, I don't know. But yeah, that's what's in my computer here. If you add it all up, it's about 600 bucks, so kind of budget and in a way. So yeah, my monitor, ViewSonic, 24-inch monitor. Thinking about buying another one, but it's about... I saw one for ninety dollars, and it's about to be like twenty three point six inch monitor, and it was ninety dollars on Newegg, so probably gonna pick that up. Right here, got the TV remote, which is that brand. I don't want to pronounce it wrong, so yeah. But also, if I back up here, we got a TV above my setup, which is wall mounted, and then we got my setup right here. And yeah, I know I got wires. I gotta do wire management at the moment. I don't really care. Yeah, you can see them there. I'll probably clean them up. Clean them up. Right back here, got a love seat kind of thing behind me. Um, and then there's stuff over to that way, but I ain't gonna show it. Right there, freezer back in there. It's kind of like I'm not doing a. I'm doing like a whole room tour kind of in a way. Phone, a uh, Nittany Lion. Uh, Xbox 360 headsets and like plugs. Uh, Xbox 360 games, thermo paste, a lot of PC stuff like mouse pads. Uh, those whatever that is, mouses, two mouses actually. Right there, empty wire bar. Got throw away dust like air duster thing. Xbox 360. Uh, that's for the TV. If you want to actually watch TV, you can use the Verizon box or whatever. Got my internet there. Hopefully you can't see the. I'm kind of like try and block it because you could probably read my uh, password or maybe I don't know anything else important. So yeah, that's my router, which 
we're on Verizon. And pretty sure that's mostly everything for my setup. Also, yeah, this desk. Um, I don't know the name of it. I forget what. But it was a pretty good desk. Cheap. It's decently long because like, I can like reach both ends by sitting down. But if you think about it, you can fit that PC case, which is, you know, that that big. Oh yeah, I don't mind my iPhone cord. I usually, I don't know where else to plug it, so I plug it in on top and then put my phone right here. So, but then it fits this whole extended mouse pad, which a little bit of room here, which usually I put my cord right there so it's out of the way. And then it goes all the way over here with a little bit of room on the side. And then we got a tissue box. Um, that's basically my setup. I do really need to work on cable management. It's kind of okay back here. I don't know if you can, how much you can see back there, but it's okay. But it's it's horrible down here because over there I got cables that I need to clean up. Most mostly an extension cord that runs from there to there, and then the two things I really plug in for on that is the monitor and my PC, which yeah, then. Basically, you probably couldn't see any of those monitors dangling. I mean, not monitors, but wires dangling. So, if somehow I can figure out how to hide that, I need to. I may get some type of cable, something to hold it up. But, hopefully you guys did enjoy this setup. This is my setup. I mean, it's, you know, it's decent for... I mean, I'm 14, so it's pretty decent for, like, me being 14. Almost forgot one thing, my chair. I bought this at Staples, like, two years ago, about, I don't know. And <laughs> so, it kind of doesn't match the setup really red, and then everything else is, like, black over there, black and whitish. It kind of doesn't, but the see, I mean, if you think about it, <laughs> inside my computer, the graphics card is red on, like, the bottom bottom part there uh, my motherboard is like a black and red uh, but I can change those LEDs that are like if you can see the LED right there I can change those and those there sorry for the shakiness um, cable I really kind of kept cable management pretty clean everywhere else in the PC back there in this corner you can kind of see the hard drives a little bit because I if you ever have the case, you can shift the hard drive tray over a little bit more. So I got more room for cables right in there. Um, I got all the cables coming out from that hole, which is makes it look clean. But over here, I kind of couldn't help it. But to plug in the lights, you need this decently long cord. And I don't have anywhere in the PC to hold the hue thing. So I have to put it like back in here on like the side not like hooked up to anything but it still works and all I have to do is just mine these cords which aren't that bad the one thing I like about this case though I keep rambling but one thing I like about this case is the door and the wide like open thing so basically all I can I can you know open it up with this little handle and see in the computer it's pretty bright with not the shield in front but yeah you can see cable management a little bit over here all the cables down here I don't know it's probably like bad to see also the other thing is if I really want to I can this is hard to do one handed oh gosh hold on so first I gotta move everything out of the way and if I want to I can just pull that up and basically just take my whole side panel off and I can just work on my computer. So basically, all I have to do is unlatch it, and I can start, like, if something breaks down in my computer, just like that. So, probably gonna end this video off. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and peace. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. Bye.